So, I sometimes get asked, why do network card differ in price by so much that the cheapest one can differ from the uh, the more exp the most expensive consumer grade network card, I mean a single one gigabit uh, network card, the same speed, same interface, same everything, just a brand, can go from 150 Hong Kong dollars to 450 Hong Kong dollars. So today I have decided to make a video about that and we'll do the test right now. So in our test, I will copy um, a folder that is around 90 gigabytes from my server. That is connected to the switch, have free, uh, a free gigabit connection. This is a Netgear JGS 24 port switch, unmanaged switch by the way. This is a Netgear ProSafe. So this is a quite high-end switch, which will deliver probably very, very good performance. So first of all, well, you will be asking these two ports out from my uh, work computer. So I'm going to pull out all of them to do the test. So the the blue cable here is the cheaper end, uh, cheaper network card. So this is a real tech network card, and then this one is. No, this one actually is a TP-Link network card. We're running off the uh, Realtek chipset. Uh, well, whatever it's called. I I don't know. This is a TP-Link network card. And this one is the Intel onboard network card, which is pretty expensive out there. Now, first of all, I'm going to do the test for the Intel, because uh, I'm going to plug it into port 6. Because uh, that's... Uh, I actually configured the IP before. So I'm going to plug that in. Hey, there we go. It's going to start communicating almost instantly. And then my computer is going to get internet access right now. So I'm going to open two folders. Uh, one, okay, this one I'm going to, yeah, there we go. Let me check. There we go. Uh, let me check the size for you. 93.1 gigabytes. I'm going to copy that folder to my uh, internal RAID 0, which is faster than the network drive. So copy, and then paste in the temp folder in the RAID 0. My machine paste. This is a single LAN, so this is the Intel LAN, so it is going to accelerate slowly uh, by in, a, in the multiples of 2, because you know what? It is sending data, actually. It can see 7.4 megabits per second, that's uh, that's because uh, my work computer is sending information to the server telling it that I receive the packets. So now we're getting 104, 116 megabytes per second. Um, let's say 116, 117 sometimes. Yeah, 115, dropping down slightly. Let's see at the network. Okay, let me... Yeah don't care about that. Look at this number. 993, 987 get, gets utilized pretty well, you know. Yeah, pretty well. And then the other one actually gets to send. That I constantly, that's saying, I received your packets. As you can see, speeds are pretty okay. I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to delete that folder. There we go. Uh, please focus. I don't know why. Okay, so now I'm going to unplug the Intel LAN and I'm going to plug in the Realtek LAN to port 5, not port 6 because I've configured the IP address that way. There we go. Port 5 is going to interact almost instantly and then it's going to catch up with it. So right now I'm going to copy the files. It's going to take a while to find, because I pulled out the network card, I mean the uh, LAN cable, not responding. Uh, we'll be back once it finds the server. Okay guys, now it's working, so it's increase, increasing step by step, up to, yeah, 90 something megabytes per second, sometimes 100. This is the cheaper LAN card, oh, that's close, 112. Yeah, 114. Yeah, 
Okay, you, you can look at that network utilization. As you can see, 985, uh, 900, 570, 984, 985, pretty good utilization, as you can see. Please focus. There we go. Yeah. Not so bad. Uh, yeah, it, it drops around sometimes. So it's not very, very, not extremely stable. But it's stable. So 984, 985. We're going to stop that now. No, uh, no, we are not going to stop that. But now we actually introduce something funny. This is just normal common sense. Uh, we have three, uh, three gigabit per second from the server. And then we have one gigabit. How about if we plug in one more? See what will happen. I've tested this before. Oops. That's painful. Just plug that in. Come on. Let me just put down the camera. That's stupid. Yo. Port 6 is going to internet extremely quickly. This is going to drop down and then going to go up. Yep, 105. And then this is going to go up pretty quickly. Oops. This is going to take a while. The, there we go. 177, 180. Oh, please, man, you focus. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it myself. Come on. It's stupid because 132, 140. Yeah, not that great. But, um, yeah, I should let you see which one does better. So, as you can see, the, the top one is actually, whoops, the, the top one is actually the T, uh, TP-Link, but is the Realtek controller. And the bottom one, I mean, the second Ethernet thing, this is the Intel one, Intel I, I218. This is doing 920, uh, 900 megabits per second. And then, oh, well, actually, you can see there. If you can see it, uh, the Intel Ethernet connection actually uh, utilizes quite well, whereas the uh, TP-Link uh, network card does not utilize itself that well. So, uh, I guess that's the ultimate conclusion. Yes, premium network cards are faster, but are they worth that much of a price difference? I guess that's up to you to decide. Um, I don't think so, but uh, in Hong Kong, we uh, sometimes you get shipped with that kind of quality, and um, uh, we don't have really, really low-end stuff in Hong Kong, really. And uh, when you want to buy server stuff, you don't really, we don't really have a server case for sale in Hong Kong. Instead, we have the whole server for sale which is what I don't like about, because I love DIY stuff. And I guess that's it. So my Switch is very busy doing stuff, as you can see. Uh, it's copying at 170, 180, 100, yeah, 180 megabytes per second. Not so bad. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. So, uh, like the video uh, and share it to anyone you think... Uh, would benefit from this video, like, uh, don't be mistaken by, um, you know, high network cards, wow, they're, uh, they're three times the price, so they, mu they must get three times the features or reliability. Oh, speaking of features, we'll be doing chapter two of uh, premium network cards, are they worth it, serious? So that will be about features, so stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe before you close this video, so uh, yeah, we'll see you next time, bye.